driving into work this morning about 8 20 this morning and uh, driving down a rural country road and about 100 to 125 feet in front of my car or what was clearly a mountain lion passed across uh, in front of me what road were you on uh mine hill road in fairfield and that's what major road is that next to uh it runs parallel to burr street Okay, so we had somebody ask us if there was a sighting on Burr Street, so you did, in fact, you feel that it, that's safe, Luke? I think we're in, we're clearly in the same neighborhood. Okay, and how big was it? I mean, you know... Uh, you know, it was moving quickly, very quickly, gracefully and quickly. Uh, I'd say it's probably th easily, the, the torso is uh, probably close to four feet in length, uh, a couple of feet high, about the height of a uh, German Shepherd or Golden Retriever. Wow. Okay, and uh, but it just ran right by you. Ran by, went over a wall, went through what I, I think it went through because it was, wasn't right up to it. And uh, it was a gate there, a wooden gate that it, it could could have gotten through the gate because there were gaps in the gate, and uh, or cer certainly capable of jumping over it. Right. And I mean, you've lived there all your life. You, you never. Seen I've it? lived on Burr Street since 1980. Lived on Greenfield Hill most of my life since uh, 1952. So, and you've never seen anything never until seen. now? Never seen, no. What do you think is causing all this uh, sighting? Uh, don't know, don't know. I, you know I'm not a, uh, <laughs> I'm an animal lover, but not, uh, you know. Do you think you were just more aware of uh, the I think, you know, there has been obviously reports of the accident that occurred in uh, Milford over the weekend, and the re sightings in Greenwich. Uh, so you're more aware, but I mean, it was there. I mean, there, there's not one doubt in my mind that uh, this was a mountain lion and it's here. We, we, we have been coexisting with these animals for many hundreds of years and only now are they starting to show up again because they're, they're, they get attracted. Wherever there is prey, you will find them there. It's that simple and it's because of the overabundance of population in deer and all the other animals that live around here, uh, we, we open ourselves up, you know, not, not, by, not by any fault of anyone, but we open ourselves up to actually having them uh, expose themselves a lot more to humans.